Hello and welcome to this lecture. So now with the, LAT, the LAN NAT policy being in place, we should be able to reach internet. And let's see how we do it. So if we now navigate to command prompt, let's try and say ping 8.8.8.8. .8 and here it is. We have replies from the Google DNS. So because of this, we should see now also a page being, uh, being displayed. So opening a new tab and let's navigate to, let's say fortinet.com. Yep. So the internet is working. We have, uh, we have the proof. So again, ping should be working and I will leave it just like this. And if we now navigate to 48.1, this is the active 40 gate. And let's go to 40 view. And we'll see traffic from LAN DMZ. I'll click on sources. I should now see my PC in the, in the sources list. So just that it is here. Yeah, 192.168.100.100. It is now... Uh, it is now live, it is now connected to the internet. Also, we can go to all segments and say all sessions. And we see now basically everywhere, uh, everywhere is going this specific, um, this specific LAN user. So it's going for TCP443, which means HTTPS traffic, going for, let's say, UDP, so Google DNS 8.8.8.8 and so on. So this is basically where you would go with your LAN uh, in place, with your LAN functioning and monitor what are the users doing, if there's any any trouble causing, uh, I don't know, let's say uh, bottlenecks, um, what are the destinations, whether you see malware or not. So again, 40 view and then uh, either you go to traffic from LAN DMZ and select sources or destinations. Maybe you want to search for a specific destination if there's traffic going there. Or applications or websites, threats, traffic shaping if you want to do traffic shaping. Or coming back, so traffic from when, so go going inside to this uh, from this source, from this server and so on. So I hope this is uh, informative for you and uh, please join me in the next lecture.